What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the 2022 finest Major League Soccer Hobby Box from Tops. These dropped on the Tops website for 100 bucks, and we're here to show you guys what this product is all about. But yeah, this was sent uh, to me by uh, one of our members. Uh, shout out to Colden. And uh, yeah, something uh, happened to the outer seal, but shouldn't really be an issue. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, uh, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and it really, really helps us grow and helps with the YouTube algorithm. Let's put that over there and got this thank you for the content note from Colton as well. So thanks again. And uh, let's actually get into this first one here. And then they still had the odds on these. So we'll show you the odds uh, here in a sec. But basically it's a 12 by 5 or 12 by 5 format, uh, 60 cards total per master box. Basically uh, six by five format in each one of these mini boxes uh, 30 cards total and we are expecting to see five numbered cards per master box uh, and two autos one in each and yeah let me just show you guys the odds and we will put a uh, reference table for you guys up on the screen right after this should be coming up right now but uh, yeah it's kind of what you guys can expect from these let's get right into it actually let me just show you guys the pack odds as well because some of you pack fanatics out there want to see it but here it is all right so pack number one tops mls let's take a look at what this design is going to be never ripped this before oh we have seen this before so this is like very very similar to the 2021 22 bundesliga design and here's our first numbered card franco Fragapane, and let's take a look at what this is numbered out of. You guys probably already saw it on the table earlier, out of 125. So we have four numbered cards left, and two autos. And guys, the messy effect is pretty real. I didn't think I would be reviewing more MLS products uh, this quickly, I guess, especially from the ones from the pre messy era. Looks like we have one of those, like, pitch caresque. Uh, inserts kind of play on words from tops, but it's like picturesque, but because it's soccer, they just made it like what I just said. It's actually very, very hard to say. So there is Daron Espria. Pretty interesting. I actually don't really know how rare these are. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen at this point, uh, but they should be fairly, fairly common. Because, uh, you know, the case hits are obviously the uh, price of falls, which we'll get into later on in the video. But looks like we have, what do you know? We were just talking about this, but not the case hits. We're going to talk about this guy here in a sec. But our first prize footballers, regular one, is Alejandro Bedoya. Again, I'm sleeving these because it's like just auto, <laughs> auto sleeve mode right now for all the... Uh, refractors slash numbered cards hopefully we get to see a sign of our auto no pun intended that's not going to be it that's going to be our first gold so let's move from the back and really interesting take on what tops did with this design uh i'm surprised i only gave it to bundesliga and tops mls but here's douglas costa our lowest numbered yet this one should be out of 50 Oh, 50 out of 50. Look at that bookend. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of awkward, like the positioning. They put it like right between the lines. I mean, they could have put it on this side. I don't know what led to that, but yeah. Uh, in terms of which rookie cards to look out for, uh, one of the guys we saw earlier, um, but he's not one of the main ones. Uh, the two top rookies I'd say to look out for are going to be Tiago Almada by far, and then Facundo Torres. And then like super prospecty ones are going to be uh, Tales Magno that we saw, Caleb Wiley, Alan Velasco, and, you know, throw in Jack McGlynn and Justin Che while you're at it. But, I mean, like we always say, guys, the whole, like, rookie situation in, like, MLS is, like, as prospecty as prospecting goes. So just put a big, big asterisk next to the rookie names, next to most of the rookies. I don't want to say all of them, most of the rookies, when you're keeping an eye out for any of them. All right, this should be the auto. Waited till last, so we didn't have to force wait it to the end. All right. Don't know that guy. That's going to be our auto. 
I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like it's going to be Peppy. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But it is not. It's Justin Che. Okay. So this guy actually went to the Bundesliga. We've, I feel like we've either pulled his like super uh, low numbered parallel or auto from uh, one of the Bundesliga sets in the last few months. But that's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of on the lower end of uh, rookies at this point. But nice to see a rookie auto from one of these boxes. And here is box number two. I would at least want to see maybe a numbered auto from this one. I've seen a lot of these boxes with like double, um, what do you call it? Double just regular non-numbered refractor autos. So you never know. And if we do get a case hit, even better. But like we mentioned earlier, those are going to be the prized footballers uh, fusion variation. So kind of like the insert that we saw earlier, except it has that like little blast on it. It's up on the screen at this point for, for you guys to see. But, um, and we'll also put a table of like all the different like fusion variations and rarities that you can see. But when you combine all the odds, that's kind of what makes it fall like one per case. That's why it's called a case hit. And a case typically for finest has like eight boxes. I think this might be our second auto. Unfortunately, it's not going to be numbered. So we got Caleb Wiley. Okay, one of the other uh, rookies on the lower end of the prospecting slash rookie spectrum but our auto is going to be right behind us so we're going to set this one down and i believe neon green is out of 99 so that means we have two more number cards i believe from this mini box and almost thought it was going to be case hit but it is just a miles robinson regular prized footballers and two remaining players here we got four packs left so if it's not one of the kind of like main chase autos, oh, okay. So we got, we got an orange out of 25. That's actually kind of nice. That's our lowest numbered card right now. There's Justin Che refractor. And this one is, is that Carlos Vela? No, it's not. Okay. Ilya Sanchez, 17 out of 25. Again, like I said, that's an awkward position to put a serial number. But this is our lowest number one so far. One, two, three, four. And we have one more number card at least. But in terms of auto checklists, it's actually super rough, which is, you know, kind of very, very normal for a lot of like MLS products and Valentin Castellanos. And that's, you know, mainly because compared to all the other competitions and leagues in the world, uh, MLS kind of doesn't really have a lot of players who are, you know, that famous or like in demand. So you're really, really banking on getting like an auto of like Gareth Bale, uh, Didier Drogba, Landon Donovan, I guess, um, which is, you know, a nice one to have for Team USA. And I mean, I don't know, maybe Chiellini. I, typically, I wouldn't really consider Chiellini a hit, but because it's in MLS, I guess maybe that's one of the ones you can count on on getting compared to like all the other ones. All right, so no case hit. Maybe we'll get it in the last one. I don't know if we're lucky, but um, all right. Alan Velasco base. So no Almada. I feel like if we did get one, we skipped through his base card somehow, but okay. So it's going to be a regular last pack here. What do you know? Spoke him into existence. So let's put this guy in a sleeve. This is rookie number one from this entire set so let's put this guy over here and let's see what the final autograph which means okay no we we did get um five number cards completely just forgot about that purple okay um <laughs> i was gonna say like enter miami with those colors and that is correct indiana vasilev i honestly just crickets right now I'm sure a lot of people like me probably were not familiar with Inter Miami if you're like not even close to Florida uh, before the whole Inter, like before the whole like Lionel Messi fiasco. So let's uh, do a quick recap. Let me just sleeve this guy. And this one, yeah, should be numbered out of 99. 54 out of 99. And let's do a quick resorting of rarity. 
All right, so we got five numbered cards, one out of 250, one out of 125, one out of 99, and then out of 50 and out of 25. And we had one refractor, a rookie card for Tiago Almada, and our two autographs were Indiana Vasilev and Justin Che. So this is the winner in my book here, and then the winner from maybe all these numbered cards. I almost want to say this refractor here, but you kind of got to give this one maybe some sort of respect in terms of prospecting, but this is also a nice one out of 25, and this one as well. So how do we feel about this set? I'll put up the rating on the screen, and I'll try to make this as straightforward as possible, but... You know, the design, like we said earlier, is basically the same design as the 2021-22 Bundesliga Finest set. And, you know, in my opinion, it was a pretty interesting design. Uh, and, you know, the base set is also um, only at 100, so that's really nice. And, you know, overall, the set checks off, like, all the, you know, theoretical, like, high scores and, and well, in terms of rating. And really looks like what you'd expect from, like, a high-quality set like Finest, typically, like, from Tops. However, you guys can see that the overall value of the set just like isn't there since you know the MLS traditionally struggles a lot when you compare it with like UEFA or like other competitions from around the world. Um, I'm definitely not saying it's a bad product but more so saying that this is a solid product uh, in almost all regards for a much much smaller audience so that's kind of why you see this like basically dip <laughs> in the rating but uh, yeah just gonna keep it at that so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video found it helpful. Thanks for watching stick around for more content group breaks uh, giveaways and as always We'll see you in the next one.